Fashion, personal style, and you. Do you actually want to improve your personal style? Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes, yes. yes. You're loving that newfound sense of style, rocking outfits like it's nobody's business. But oh wait. If you've been personally victimized by YouTubers or style maintenance telling you that personal style is simple and you only need this hack or that tip, you may be entitled to compensation. Okay, I'm not sending out settlement checks to anyone, but this video may help. These 10 steps will help you commit to an authentic personal style. Before we get into the tips, let's get some perspective. Started from the bottom, now we're here. So I wish I could have actually shown a clip of that, but you know, copyright, so I hope you get the sentiment. Everyone, even your favorite style icons and celebs, have started somewhere in their personal style journey. And if you've ever done a deep dive on your favorite celebs Instagram, assuming they have one, it becomes painfully obvious. Even Audrey Hepburn, Audrey Hepburn, one of the most idolized style icons of all time, who has such a strong sense of personal style, started here, and here, and here. I mean, it's not terrible. That was kind of a dramatic effect. But it's a far cry from this. And the best part is you don't need designer clothes, a personal stylist, or a huge wardrobe budget in order to find an authentic personal style. You just need an action plan. <laughs> So let's build one. 10 steps to help you start progressing along your style journey, actually put into play all of that style advice you've been collecting over the years. Let's go. Number one, get an actual sense of your style today. Like literally today. What time is it? Check it, today. So we're gonna go back to, started from the bottom, now we're here. Sorry to put you through that two times. Whether you're a novice or a level 100 expert in your style journey, Consider t today, day one. And because this is about finding your authentic personal style and this is an action plan, I have an action step for you. The next seven to 14 days, I need you to take a selfie or a picture of your outfit every single day. It doesn't matter what you wear. Do not dress up specifically for this. Wear what you would normally wear and just document it. We are going to call this the outfit photo challenge and I have a cute little template so you can pop your photos in at the end of each day. You'll also want to jot down the pieces you wore and any reactions you got. Now your reactions could be something like a compliment, but they don't have to be. Sometimes it's more internal. And remember, don't do anything different. Don't dress up for this or else your data will be skewed. So if you wore this all day, that's totally okay and important information because we're creating a personal style that's authentic to you and not creating a fantasy personal style. Here's an example. See the outfit, the pieces I wore, and the reactions. Notice how the reactions are not necessarily compliments. It's about how I felt in it, how it worked for my day, and if it represented me. And I actually encourage you to keep on doing this even after the seven to 14 days. I think it gives you incredibly important data and helps you create an outfit album. Number two, cement the goals for your personal style. Okay, so we figured out what our style is today. Now we need a style GPS to figure out where we want our style to go. What do you want your personal style and fashion to do for you? What do you want it to do for your lifestyle? Help me help you. This answer will be highly personal and I want you to think beyond just look good. But if that's really all you can think of, then you can put that down and expand it later. Some other reasons could include, I want to feel comfortable in the skin that I'm in. I want the world to see me for who I really am. I want my mornings to be stress-free and I want to feel good in the clothes I pick. For my personal one, finding strength through style. Oh no, God! Now it sometimes helps to have a shorter term goal and a longer term goal to see how your progress is going. It could be the short term goal of find clothes that I actually like to wear. And the long term goal could be find clothes that make me confident in my body. Number three, keeping your why in place and breaking down the reaction you want. Your style is your voice to the world. You have about seven to nine seconds to make a first impression, and before you even get out your elevator pitch or any of your opinions, your style has already left a mark. So in step two, we talked about our internal whys and our goals for our authentic personal style. Now let's talk a little bit about external whys. What is the reaction you want from people? Wow. How do you want people to see you? Your clothes can be a direct link to those associations. So let's brainstorm a sentence that reflects the reaction we want from other people. So when people view me, I want their reaction to be. Wow, that Gabby is creative, friendly, and put together. Another reaction would be, wow, that Emily is so powerful, independent, and in charge. Now, 
We don't want to dress for other people and we don't want to pander to other people's opinion. That's not what this is about. But understanding the reaction we would like can help inform us of our own personal style choices. So when I decided on my reaction, it led me to stop buying traditional workwear. One, I don't need it for my job. And two, it wasn't communicating the reaction I wanted from people. Number four, understanding the paths you can take. I believe in poker, this is called upping the ante. But honestly, I was never invited to poker night, so I could be wrong. All in. So you want to evolve your personal style. You've committed to the outfit photo challenge for seven days. You've done your personal style maps. And then weeks go by and it just kind of slips away. We will get into specific steps to keep your personal style journey on track in the next step. But let's first use our imaginations and a little help from Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins? That guy's <laughs> gonna teach me about style? No, we're not going to take style advice from Tony Robbins. But we are going to use one of his systems, the Dickens Method. But ultimately it's a system that's based on the Christmas Carol. And it's about understanding your past, present, and future and how to break the bias and patterns that aren't serving you anymore. So let's look at what's at stake for your personal style and whether you stick to it or abandon it. Option one, your style is eh, you don't feel that great in your clothes, but about once a year you really get sucked into trying to improve it. But after years of not sticking with it, you slowly stop putting effort into it. You avoid things that put your body on display or focus on outfits like swimming pools or weddings because they break you out of your style comfort zone. And you're passed over for the promotion no! because people in the office just don't see you as being put together. Okay, that was like dramatic. Like really dramatic. But I'm trying to make a point, not scare you. Now let's look at the flip side. You finally start taking your style seriously. You strategically build your wardrobe into something that communicates to the world who you are. You feel in harmony with your clothes and your body. You feel confident. You love looking back on photos over the years because it just shows you how much you've grown. You dress for the job you want and deserve. So put some skin in the game. Start thinking about future you and what they need in their personal style and what you could lose by not committing to it. Number five, habit stacking. Now it may seem like this video is getting a little less action plan and a little bit more esoteric, but part of an action plan is knowing what's at stake and knowing the steps you need to take and actually implementing them, turning those into habits. We want to form commitment to your personal style and habits around your personal style choices so it doesn't even feel like work. It's not something that you just do when you're going out to dinner with your friends. You also do it when you're wearing loungewear on the couch. So a fantastic resource, if you haven't read it already, it was like the number one book in the world for a, quite a bit of time, is Atomic Habits. And it's a great actionable plan for how to build habits. I'll link it below. James Clear explains that we already have a strong response connection to the habits we already have formed. How many of you wake up, brush your teeth, get a cup of coffee? You don't even need to think about it. So if we want to build a new habit, we want to add a step to our old habits. This is called habit stacking and will help our brains create a connection between the old habits and the new habits. So how are we going to add the concept of habit stacking to our personal style journeys? Well, slowly. First, let's start off with an easy one. For instance, after I get dressed, current habit, I will take a photo of my outfit, new habit, to collect all that style data. Or it could be after I do my laundering, I'm going to stack all of the clean clothes or hang all of the clean clothes on the left side of my closet. Over time, this will help me see all of the pieces that I'm continually wearing and some of the pieces that don't get used very often. I'm madly in love with you. And eventually we can create habit chains, which add multiple steps to the buildings of habits. After I get dressed, I'm going to add an accessory to my outfit and then I'm going to photograph that accessory so I can see with the data what styles and accessories I'm drawn to. And if you're a little bit stuck, go ahead and comment below your style struggles and your why and we can workshop some habit stacking options together. So habits and style help you create style data points. They help you see the progress that you made, which is incredibly motivating. And they also help you stay consistent in your style journey and not let it slip away after a few weeks. Number six getting over any style hurdles or biases. Be free! There is a lot of noise out there. For the style of tomorrow is important, as we discussed. I think I've beaten you over the head enough about that. But maybe one more. Very important! But you also need to stop putting off and start your style journey today. And you maybe already started it by doing the outfit photo challenge or creating your personal style maps. But we also need to tune out all the noise and all the marketing that says we're not good enough or we're not thin enough 
or if we just have this designer piece, our style is going to be supreme. If I could legally cue Billy Joel's Vienna, I would. <laughs> Slow down, Vienna will wait for you. At no point in your personal style will you cross the finish line. You grow your, and evolve, your personal style will grow and be honed with you. If you want, you can even jot down a few of the reasons why you haven't started your personal style journey yet. And by jotting them down and then writing the reason why they are absurd, it will help put things into perspective. For instance, I need to make more money before I can overhaul my wardrobe. So why is that absurd, you ask? Well, I would never recommend anyone go out and buy an entire new wardrobe all at once. First, do you even know your personal style? And if you don't, then what are you buying? And do you really think it's gonna work for you long term? Two, this is a journey. Rushing into any process when you don't have the knowledge to back it up is going to end in failure and you're gonna get frustrated. I need to lose weight before I try that style or grow my hair or build a butt to pull off that look. So why is that absurd? Well, beauty popularity and beauty ideals change a lot over time. What was popular 10 years ago and what is popular now? So start embracing the body that has gotten you through X number of years and see the beauty in it. Number seven, referencing your personal style maps. So in this video right here, I talk about personal style maps and the three adjectives you'd like to be associated with your personal style. I think it's a great way to visually see your style goal aesthetics, why you're attracted to certain styles, and help you understand what you're communicating to the world. So you have your personal style maps and you have your whys. Now we need to mesh them together and make sure there's a harmony between the two. Meet Jane. Jane recently graduated from college and is looking to be taken seriously in her new job, which is in a creative workplace, but still business casual. She is a kibby flamboyant gamine. She is a deep winter and her personal style map looks like this, but she's progressing to a new phase of her life and wants to evolve her style to match. Her short-term goal is find clothes that fit her body, long-term goal, clothes that are authentic to me, but also work for my future lifestyle goals, and the reaction she wants is to be seen as creative, in charge, and put together. Her business casual style might look something like this, like this, or even this. We are putting all of the puzzle pieces together. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. I'm going to add in a mini step here, 7.5. Redo the outfit photo challenge with your personal style maps in mind. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare the two sets of photos. So you have your first outfit photo challenge and your repeated outfit photo challenge. And we're going to see if there's any differences because with the second set of photos, we have more intention behind them. And we're going to see if there are any changes. They can be subtle or they can be more dramatic. Simple as, oh, when I'm more intentional about my style, I add cool accessories to give me more of a creative vibe. Or it could be, when I look at my personal style map, I realize I want to have a much more romantic personality. So my style completely changes. Number eight, assessing the success on a personal level. So once a month, put in your calendar to check where your personal style is going and how far you've come. So if you have photos of most of your outfits or reactions to your outfits, or even just an album of outfit photo wins, you will have data points to help you see how far you're progressing. You can see where you started on day one and where you are today and look at it as an overview. See the pieces that are connecting through your style journey, what pieces you might've left behind and where you want to go. So if you like the KB system or the Essence system, I used to really like Gamine clothing and I used to wear it fairly regularly. But then when I looked at the outfit photos, I realized that it looks like I'm almost cosplaying as a Gamine Essence. Like those actually don't bring out my best features. A visual reminder of all the progress you've made is the best motivation you can have for sticking to anything, including your personal style journey. Number nine, don't overwhelm yourself with too many style systems all at once. You may love deep diving into kibby or essences or seasonal color or any of the other style systems out there, and they can all be incredibly useful tools within your toolbox. However, you need to be able to look at what the system is giving you and evaluate it if it serves your personal style goals. And if you experiment with too many systems all at once, you won't be able to see the data clearly. So go ahead and stack your knowledge. Try one system, evaluate what's working, take what's working and leave the rest. Then move on to the next step. And your order or your proportion of how much you emphasize a certain system is totally up to you, but experimentation is key to figuring that out. Number 10. The permission slip. Your personal style journey is not going to be flawless, full of outfits that you've always wanted to wear. I'm giving you a permission slip to f up. 
This is your permission slip to try new things, to have outfits that are absolute stinkers, and to wear clothes that society says isn't right. Whatever that means. I'm giving you permission to be yourself in your own clothes and not feel judged by it. Honestly, if you're worried that you're gonna feel judged or that people are going to have opinions about your newfound confidence in your style, just remember that it's usually done from a place of insecurity and it doesn't reflect anything about you. The audience doesn't dictate the play. The writer-director does. Be the writer-director of your personal style and own it. I hope this video has been super helpful and I hope you've been able to find some strength through style, but you're also committing to building your personal style into your life permanently. Until next wait time. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait one second, my next video is going to be all about combining your kibby essence, your personal style maps, or the vibe of them, your seasonal color, and your lifestyle, and your essences. So if you want your parameters to be maybe included in the video, go ahead and drop them below in the comments. Until next time.